Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of the 92 Diaries podcast and joined with me today your girl Fee is Miss Charles and Juliet my lovely 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 sister friends <laughs> uh, and today's topic is going to be about situationships mm-hmm. now I specifically mm-hmm. want to talk about how people or why some people are content to just stay in situationships and if that's a healthy thing to do for your state of mind especially from a female perspective where we want to very much know where we are with somebody is that a general female thing i thought that was just me like i like boundaries i like to know where where i'm at like where i stand you know what i can do what i can't do i would have thought that is a majority of females they'd like to know what it is you they mean to you and and vice versa Mm. therefore they know how they can proceed am i allowed to see somebody else or not like Mm. that type of thing i think it's very important to establish these things or else you end up in a pool of confusion and you second guess everything and read into everything Mm. Mm -hmm. praise is a friend and how you feel is that me just there like that okay cool is that how you feel too i was wondering if it's just me that's great right no no to be honest i don't I don't think situationships, for me anyway, are particularly healthy places to be in. I think um, it's really difficult to know where you stand with someone where you don't stand anywhere. Mm-hmm. And I think when you're in that situation where you're not really friends, but you're not really together, so da, 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 there's there's literally no, like, it's as if there, there, there's no boundary, there's nothing. Mm-hmm. So when you do have a certain grievance about something there's always a rebuttal like but you're not mm-hmm. even in the situation so do you mm. so so you almost feel as if you don't have a right to your feelings mm. even though you obviously mm. do it's very difficult to make that stand because you're not standing at mm. all mm-hmm. you're nowhere like you have mm. no leg to stand on because of the situation that you're in and sometimes people walk into these things unknowingly and when you realize that with a lot of things you almost feel like as if you have no power to say something it can feel really really hard and really difficult and mm. i know for me it's not a healthy place to be in mm. yeah i agree oh. i um i just like like chad said i just like to know where i stand so if we're mm. dating tell me that we're dating and even yeah. then if we're dating Am I dating you and other people? Are you mm-hmm. dating me mm-hmm. and other people? Mm-hmm. Or are we just dating each other? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. I feel like that's a conversation that just needs to be had. And I feel like a lot of people... Not a lot of people, sorry. Let me stop generalising. So, like, <laughs> a lot of people. A lot of people. <laughs> people said could put said. it off. I can't say a lot of people because I don't know. Just that like, People, I'll just say people. People put it off because they fear the unknown. They fear mm. that they're going to ruin what is potentially a good thing. And mm. it's like, if you're worried about the fact that you're going to lose this person, chances are you already know in your mind you never had this person to begin with. So why are you wasting your time? Do you oh, know what I mean? Wow. Like, I said this to Hi, Judy yeah. the other day, right? God loves us. Can we agree? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amen. Died for our sins. Can we agree? Yes, amen. So, I said agreed, like past tense. Can we agree? <laughs> so why would you then put yourself in a situation where you are punishing yourself when Can i just say one one thing that you you pointed out in terms of um you know people um make a situation because of the the, the fear of the unknown i don't feel like that's the only reason why there's a situation ship i that's feel like hard reason, yeah. That, yeah but i feel like there's a reason the reason for a situation ship is also because they want to have their cake and eat it yeah and um I think that's really unfair to both parties especially yeah. if you don't have boundaries if you don't have this is what we can do and what we can't do you know there's no layout there's no format a situation ship um exposes you to so many errors to so many um th- <laughs> i don't know just so many situations that shouldn't have ever occurred if you ever get further with that person mm-hmm because there's no boundaries because there's no rules because imagine this world let's generalize it so far much imagine britain without no rules you can't commit crime you can't steal you can't okay what crime is the crime is uh you know there's a definition for what crime is but you can't steal you can't take what is not yours without paying you know simple things like that and if there were generally no rules would not would this world not be chaotic Mm -hmm. um 
so this, this, it's the same context as to what a situation ship is like and as much as you guys feel like you're doing what you think you're doing i feel like without really clear and i mean crystal clear boundaries within that situation it's just open to error like mm. not just error because i mean to uh error is human or whatever um mm. but like it, it, it's chaos it is it's generally you're open to chaos and rightly as my two colleagues have said you're open to feelings that you can't justify feelings that you can't back up feelings mm-hmm. that you can't um hold accountable because you you feel this way but you don't have a leg to stand on Mm -hmm. and you can't hold anyone accountable in the situation Mm -hmm. and there's so many there's so many holes it's it's a cheese factory literally in that sense (laughs) there's so many holes in it and it's bloody ridiculous and it's like unless you want to be 110 percent blase with this person you may as well call yourself friends with benefits as opposed to a situation ship because the situation ship has so many cross lines mm. we, it's, it's check it it's check it out here like i'm confused it's got those blurred lines sorry oh. you know what though it's, it, I, I i completely understand where you're coming from and I, I think it i even said it myself but i think it's so interesting and it's so sad that we feel that in situation ships you can't express yourself because we should be able to express ex- express ourselves and communicate with people on whichever level we're speaking on them with whether it be friends situations friends but whatever it is we should be able to be honest and communicate but there's something about a situation in which you feel powerless mm. you feel absolutely powerless and i'm saying that obviously from personal experience you feel as if you haven't got the right and that is such a sad place to be in mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and i and i think sometimes People go into situationships sometimes with mismatched, like mismatched expectations. Mm. One person has the expectation of this, and the other person mm-hmm. could be either hoping for something more, hoping for something mm-hmm. less. And yeah, more like when, a relationship or yeah. Yeah, and sometimes when those things happen, it can leave the other person feeling like their feelings are going to get hurt, mm. and the other person's not getting their their views heard or mm. listened to, and then the other person just feeling like they could be, be pe- they could be being pestered by the other person who's not understanding what's happening, and mm. it's it's a shame that we feel as if communication is something that can't happen in these situations because it should be the hallmark of it, but I don't know, um, I just don't think they're the healthiest place to be in mm. for me personally. Just to be fair, Julie, I don't think that like um communication is completely the downfall within a um situationship i think sometimes maybe on a very rare occasion people that are involved in the situationship may be able to communicate very well however i think what you equally said was very valid in terms of expectations being mismatched so mm. i think the issue predominantly comes from so even if you're so good in this situation shit where you've communicated your rules are there so so everyone understands where they stand um though it's you know deemed a situation ship and i don't feel like if you know where you stand it's called a situation ship um so i think you're on a different level if you're actually very clear as to where both parties stand but the issue with the situation ship is the mismatch um of expectations mm-hmm. and one person's acting as if we are something Mm-hmm. And the other person's acting as if we're less than something. Mm-hmm. And it may not that one it may not be that we're nothing at all. We may be somehow something, but it's so blurred that I can get away with anything within this situation. And I genuinely think that's not only unfair to the person that you're with, but the um but yourself. Yeah. Um to to put yourself in that situation and and I understand why people do, but to be um part of that situation and not have any clear boundaries or clear boundaries as to what is and what isn't, um, I think it's unfair to yourself based on how you have treated your heart. <laughs> and that sounds very mm-hmm. soppy, but no, it's um, true, it's true. Emotions run deep. And mm. you know, have you ever experienced anything that becomes physical pain? Yeah. It happens. Like emotional pain can be so much Ooh, that it can be physical Ooh. pain. Babes, heartbreak like, like you on rough. the floor, mate. On Damn. the floor, you can't, can't move, eat. can't eat, nothing. I feel like it's even worse though in those type of situations because you, you don't even. A part of you feels like you don't even have the right to be uh, mourning this loss, and yet you are. 
yeah, you're going through the the heartbreak of a relationship without having actually been in a relationship. Like, and then you're confused as to should I actually give a fuck or sorry, should I actually give one or should I not? Like, do you know what I mean? Or like, am I supposed to still care right now or am I not? Am am I entitled to care? Am I entitled to feel how I feel? Um, um, do I bring this to this person's attention because obviously they're gonna remind me that we're not this and and yet. Mm, we mm, feel this mm. way and we act this way and yeah and i want to tell him this is how he's made me feel and then yeah is he gonna care enough for it to continue the way it once was that was good my head is very hot (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no 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 but for real these are these, are these are the thoughts you deep because you're saying to yourself this person's not going to give a toss because i essentially he doesn't owe me anything yeah so he doesn't even have to get like his response to give his one. response yeah. could literally just be one word full stop done and i can't argue it because i you can feel it that way but i, I don't know but i feel like you have grounds to stand on to argue as such like and even when you do does a, a cognitive answer come out from you because you're so confused in the situation you are in? Does does it actually sound clear when you when you actually come out with something as to why you did this or why you didn't do this? And as to, um, okay, but we are, but we're not. And sometimes I feel like we are and, and we are borderline here. And, and that's why I did do this. But then I didn't do this because we're not there. And do, do you, okay, does anybody else feel that, um, first of all, every action, causes a reaction yeah agreed no julie yes i agree okay second of all um your response to things depends on a situation mm-hmm. so if you're confused about a situation what does your response tell you or or what is your response going to be slightly confused response. <laughs> exactly Con- slightly confused it's gonna it's gonna be a confused response because you don't know or you may be thinking this one day, and based on this person's actions, you may be thinking X another day. However, if you are in a full-time committed relationship, despite the fact the way a person yeah, um, behaves, and yes, st- it still applies as to every um, action causes a reaction, but your mindset is going to be different. There's rules in place. There's boundaries in place. There's boundaries in place. There's rules in place. You know where you stand. And you're like, I can let this go or I can not let this go. Mm -hmm. I can do this or I cannot do this. Mm -hmm. This is how I president this person. This is how Mm -hmm. I don't present this person Mm -hmm. based on the rules and categories of of the situation. However, when it's so blurred, you're like, maybe I might do this today if they feel this way or if they've acted this kind of way today. Maybe if they're close to me today, I'll act more like we're in a relationship. But if they're far from me today, I'll act more like we're just friends or friends with benefits, you know, and it, it's really confusing. Mm-hmm. And and I think a lot of shit, you know, gets fucked up <laughs> in those kind of situations, 100%. Mm. See what you're thinking. Like, <laughs> mm. like, I was just thinking, bad example, but it's the, like it's the only example I've got to stand on at the moment. So mm. you remember like shows like Geordie Shaw? I say remember, they're still going on. Yeah. You'll see, like, yeah, they are. You'll see the girls. I should know because sometimes I watch them. Um, <laughs> you'll see, like, someone, for instance, like, I remember in the beginning, was it Chloe? I can't remember which one it was, but she was getting Bex because this guy would Vicky. be doing, yeah, this guy would be doing her. No, it was Charlotte. And no, Gaz. Charlotte. I love Charlotte. Sorry, she's Charlotte funny. and Gaz. So this guy would be yeah. doing her, be saying the sweet nothings. Didn't didn't commit to her or anything. But then mm, next night he's bringing back another he's bringing back yeah. another girl. Do you know what I mean? And it would send her into her. She she'd lose her plot. She'd go oh, mad. Goodness, yeah. And I'm looking at her like, girl, you realize you have no leg to stand on because this man has not made a commitment to you. That is why he's able to respond to you in a manner as if you are mad. You know what's fun? You know what? You but know it's what's just because you're girl? in your feelings, and I get that because I'm a girl. But to him, it's like I don't owe you anything. I've not promised you the world. So why are you getting mad? You have no leg to stand on. I think mm. it's really, really. Un- it's really, really bad. I personally feel like, as if if you are if you are going to indulge in something like this, you need a criteria, and that criteria you need to stick to, and that by you sticking to it means you value you and how you get treated. Yeah. Fine, this person is not committed to you, but that does not I mean that does not qualify that you should like, or that doesn't mean that he should mm. be able to disrespect you in any type of a way. Mm-hmm. So if you come across a guy. And this is what you want from him, and he ticks all them boxes. Don't expect anything more. Or if you do get anything more, and it's a bonus and you like it, cool. But if 
he doesn't tick the boxes or he halfway ticks the boxes, why are you gonna then mess about with somebody like that? He's only gonna cause you headache. Do you mm. get what I mean? Mm. It's like stick to what you want and don't derive from that. If you yes. know you want a friends with benefit situation, then very, very, very plainly say this is what I want. And I if think you situations know, always change though, don't they? Yeah, so no, like they, they do change, but then at that point you need to be ready to address that. That's mm. a, like that's that's another thing. You might pick a guy who's emotionally unavailable. Counsel him be, to, to begin with, because he's, if he's emotionally but that's, unavailable, that's only if he 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 admits that he's emotionally unavailable. What if he can tell knows? Though. Hold on. What if he knows he's emotionally unavailable, but acts as if he is available? The reason why he acts the way he he is available, emotionally available, is because he wants to be emotionally available. However, his present time is emotionally unavailable. And therefore, you get a contradiction between both behaviours. You get part of him that is emotionally available and part of him that is emotionally unavailable because he is what he is in present state. However, mm. he's also trying to be what he wants to be. You know what's at that point, what? At that, at that point, though, that's, that is up to you to declare if your mental state of mind can put up with that higgy hagger type of behaviour because I cannot. <laughs> it's true. I, I cannot. It's true. I cannot. It's you're, either, you're either here with me and you want to be here with me. Oh, you you keep it and if you yourself. don't, keep it pushing. And if you don't, mm. I'm going to keep it pushing because guess what? I like myself. Mm. Jesus, I'm from my sins. Okay? Yeah, so no, I'm not doing it. Yeah. I cannot come and die when Jesus has come and died. I'm you know? telling you. I'm, I'm, wow. I'm, not, I'm not doing it. Absolutely not. Which is why I just I like I, you'll feel bad for a temporary period of time. But guess what? There's plenty of fish in the sea. I don't even mean that to sound horrible, but there are plenty of fish in the sea. Like stick to your guns. Honest, stick to your guns. I, no apologies for it. I can't even lie. Like I think Fahani raised an amazing point. I think sometimes when it comes to situationships. Some of the reasons why people, why I have gone into these things in the past, because you're not very sure. What well, I want to think of personal experience anyway. I wasn't sure in what I wanted, and so I literally would just kind of like be like, me, oh, well, this will do, and like, and see how it went, and we'll see how it goes, and da da da. You're so wishy washy in your own beliefs. You stand for nothing. Therefore, when shit happens to you, you can't say nothing because you haven't said or mm. declared that you wanted anything at all and I think sometimes when it especially when it comes to romantic relationships you need to be sure and you need to be clear within yourself if you are ready for whatever it is that you say you want so if you're saying for example that you want a friend with benefits a friend with benefits blah, blah, English friends with benefit situation if you know for yourself that you actually can't handle one but you're going to keep saying you want one you're hurting yourself at the end of the day if you're saying you want a relationship but you know you're not emotionally ready for a relationship then if you get into that you could be hurting yourself or the other person as well or if you know that like actually like I want to be in a relationship and you do find someone who only wants friends with benefits you need to be the one to be like actually we want different things and I don't want what you want right now and I'm going to keep it moving for someone else who wants the same things that I do Mm -hmm. I think when you when you become clear in what it is that you want you be you're more adamant about what it is that you 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 actually have to tolerate and you will stop tolerating shit that is not aligned with you because it's not mm. making sense mm-hmm. it's not making sense i like that things that are not aligned with you that's mm-hmm. massive yeah. like I, and and part of that is what we've touched on before in terms of self-worth like um, not even just about knowing your own worth but knowing what you want and knowing your goals and knowing your prospects and knowing where you want to go and if you don't know yourself if you don't value yourself and if you don't know where you're going or where you want to go yeah you you can't even start to establish the boundaries as to what you will and won't accept Mm -hmm. in your life along the way and in the Mm -hmm. journey Mm -hmm. um and whether it actually aligns with your plan whether it aligns with your goal and um one thing i'd like to say as it may not be everyone's cup of tea but aligning depending on obviously depending on your belief and so on and so forth but for christians if you believe that that God has your best interests, because us as humans, um, we do kind of look short term. Sometimes we look for just what's in front of us, as opposed to we can't see sort of a bird's eye view. And that's that's kind of God's role. His his role is to have a bird's eye view on our life and know where we are going before we even take the first step. But if you don't believe that that is he has that ability and you don't put your prospects into say his will 
for you and you kind of just kind of um, project your will and um, sometimes it'll be very shortfall and it'll be a, it'll be a slow and steady pace I'm not saying that you won't go there you won't get to where you need to get but sometimes it'll just it'll just take you longer than actually needed mm. so there's 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 another thing to consider there as to whether you're you're riding off your own back Mm. or if you are riding off something more supernatural that has the ability to do better for you or to sort of know a f- no t- 10 steps ahead kind of mm-hmm. thing so for me for my christian friends i would say like if, if you're not giving your prospects into to god as well um i feel like you will come up not empty-handed but short mm. yeah um, so that's just something to consider with, with your future prospects. So one thing is knowing where you want to go as a person. And another thing is allowing your superior to uh, direct you where you need to go. Mm-hmm. No, that's why I'm just not afraid to just cancel anything. Savage out here. <laughs> honestly, if it's not honestly, honestly the future, if it's not, then let it go. It's not that deep. Like, I will not die tomorrow if you're not in my life. I'll still 100%. wake up. I'll still do. This is the thing. You need to be comfortable with just doing you in it and being mm. alone. Mm-hmm. Doing you and being alone. And guess guess what? I'm very. Al- I'm not very alone, but I'm alone. Do you know what? I do a lot of things alone, and it's fine. I have no problems with that. And if you're gonna come into my life, you're gonna be an addition. I'm not going to. Mm, we're not going. Mm, mm, mm. No, I'm not gonna. You're not gonna mess up my schedule, mate. You're not. You're not going to mess up my schedule and you're not going to mess up my mental state because I like it, which is why you have to be very selective in the people that you, you choose to align yourself with. If you already get if he's already giving you a headache. Oh, and, Lord. Like if, if he's already giving you a headache and palpitations Sis. and you've only known him 10 minutes. Sis. Yeah, again, mm. you're trying to press for it. Sis. You're literally just signing yourself up for, for, for punishment. I see no reason why. Why would you do that to yourself? Why would you want to? Why would you invite drama into your life willingly? Mm. Bliss. Like, what's the end game here? You, he's Are gonna you miraculously, a TV network? What, he's gonna miraculously. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> that telenova, no, telenovela drama type of issue. Hey, come on. <laughs> It's, it's just not worth it. I don't think it's worth it. I think my mental state is very important to me and I would like to keep it upheld. I don't want to mm. go to sleep thinking about all these other stresses. I've got other stresses. I don't want <laughs> more stress <laughs> in my life. God damn it. I don't. And you're selfish if you want to add your stress to my life. Selfish! <laughs> <laughs> it was coming. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just not here for it. I'm absolutely not here for it. But like... If you want to have a situation ship, all I'm going to say is make sure, like I said, make your list and stick to it. And if you don't know what you want, then you are not ready for any type of religion. Anything, yeah. You just any need to have a self ship. Okay? Yeah, 100%. A self ship. I totally agree. Get to know yourself. Enjoy, like, yeah. enjoy your enjoy your life. Yeah. Reflect. You should be focused Self-growth. On do it all. Mm-hmm. Spend time with God. Just do it all. Put yourself on the highest pedestal. Because even if the world out there is telling you you ain't shit, god damn it, girl, you you shit, you the shit. You the shit. Come on. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> the shit is naive. Don't be it's allowing naive. anybody to, 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 to make you feel like you're this much. When ev- absolutely every single one of us is like, not even the, the length, the, the span of my hands can quantify how big we are as people. So don't allow anybody treating you like you're any old knickknack. Oh. Absolutely not. Sorry, that came from the soul. That's that's that that right there. You can see I've come a long way. I'm just honestly, I'm just not... guys. When like I think we're all speaking from perspectives from having gone through our own little bits and pieces in our own lives. Not and it's not even just talking about situations. I'm saying any relationship. And I think having that perspective and being able to share that. And if you knew how far we had come, guys. Honestly, the suffering has been real. We forgot Jesus Christ has already died. Mm -hmm. we have Mm. forgotten but i think the key thing here and i think i don't know if i speak for all of us i hope i do is that it's really important that you at the end of the day whatever situation you're in if you're even if you're in a current situation now and you're not happy you need to come back to the center that's you and you need to think about what it is that you really want and if you know in your heart of hearts the situation you are in right now is not what you want and you have the power to move away from it or at least distance yourself from it do that especially if it's in a romantic um a romantic sort of situation that you don't want to be in i'm not talking about like 
context in which we're talking about abuse, we're not talking about the debt today. We're talking about situa um, situations where you may or may not actually be intimate with this person physically, but you're in a situation where you feel like your emotions are being disregarded. In that aspect, you need to think about who is being prioritised here? Is it the other person in this, in this or is it going to be both of you or is it just you? Like, think about that and use that to really empower yourself to leave if you need to, move on if you need to, or at least start making decisions that actually put you at the centre. Yeah. Yeah, no, cool. But yeah, guys, we've shared a lot. Um, I think my conclusion basically um, stems off of these two. I think the ultimate part of my conclusion um, is really self-respect. Yeah. I just think, <laughs> even though you may lose it at some point because love is blind as they say um or emotions are cloudy i don't know but um you if come back come back to it because you have you you were born alone you die alone mm -hmm. and i'm not saying that you need to be selfish in that sense because you do need to think about other people i think it's very selfish to only think of yourself however you are number one and you do need to think about your self well being. And if the person you think you can prospectively be with, situationship, relationship, partnership, internship, whatever kind of all ships the ships. there is, all the ships, all the ships, <laughs> um, if you think that you can be that person and they benefit, which is the same as a business ship, they benefit your life. I'm not saying that they need to give you the absolute most. You obviously have to contribute something to their life too. But at the end of the day, what you're looking for more is a contribution as opposed to a removal. Mm. And if someone is taking and taking and taking from you, that is not a situation that you need to be in, period. Mm. That is a negative a situation. It is a bad situation and it is an unhealthy situation. Someone draining you, pulling from you, taking from you with no fallback is bad. Mm -hmm. In case you know what bad and good is, that is bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going back to primary school. But mm -hmm. some, if somebody adds value, so important, adds value to your life in some form, fashion, maybe it is worth it. And yes, it's going to be ups and downs. And yes, it's not going to be an easy road. And yes, it's going to be bumps. But guess what? The bumps get easier with clarification. The bumps get easier with communication. The bumps get easier with self-worth and self-respect. Where you, if you know where you stand, then no one can treat you anyhow. No one can do what they want with you. You're either a yes or you're a no. You're not on the fence. So standing where you stand is very important, but you've got to know where you stand. Um, and the, from there, whether a situation works for you or not, mm, that's your business. That sounds like a you problem, mm -hmm. fam. Um, <laughs> and, uh, wow. <laughs> sounds like a you problem. But um, yeah, you just you kind of have to just really know yourself first and know if that is something you can tolerate. And in terms of the wishy-washiness and um, the confusion, that you have to see whether that sits with you as well, fam. Because if it doesn't, that may not be something you want to be involved with. Just saying. Didn't you hear Beyonce when she said, "Don't you get the thing? What was it? You're irreplaceable because you 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 are not." I heard oh, Becky with the good hair. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> he's a fan. Yeah, guys, good hair. <laughs> love yourselves. Uh, God loves you, and yeah, self respect. Treat yourself as you would treat anybody else and if that person's not treating you the way you'd like to be treated then cancel simple as uh <laughs> cancel that. Ca cancel. it's a cancel. no from us. It's, it's it's a no from it's a no, from <laughs> Absolutely. It's a no from we not even just me it's a no that's from it we. that's what we like uh -huh. to say here it's no a no from we. we it's a no okay. from we it's a oh no no uh, <laughs> no nah. Kind of situation. <laughs> Give it a wide breath. And this this extends to both men and women. We don't want you to think that you know it can't happen both ways. It definitely can. So just make sure you're looking after yourself, your own mental state before you try and divulge into something that could potentially jeopardize your state of mind. So yeah, guys.
that's the end of this podcast we hope you found it interesting we very much would value your love your feedback you know share it make sure you subscribe uh we'll put all of our social media below make sure to follow us on our instagram 92.diaries on our facebook i can't even remember what it is but the link will be below uh <laughs> it's going to be available on spotify it's going to be available on i think now we're on okay. itunes yeah um so make sure to check it out you know so we, we are getting available in other places you just keep listening so yeah guys it's been real we love you and stay blessed okay. bye, bye.